Welcome to the Dynon channel and a Skyview how-to. This video covers the uploading of databases and firmware updates to Skyview systems. Details of the operations in this video are available in the Skyview system and Pilot's user guides. Maintaining the full capabilities and proper operation of your Skyview system requires ensuring that the latest databases and firmware are installed. This video will cover how to update Skyview's installed databases as well as the downloading and installation of Skyview firmware updates. To determine the current status of your Skyview system's database and firmware, you need to enter the unit setup menu. The main setup menu is reached by pressing and holding the number 7 and 8 buttons. Once in the main setup menu, use either joystick to select local display setup. From the local display setup menu, you can access the installed databases page to review effective dates and titles of the installed aviation, terrain, and base map databases. The aviation database provides the airport, airspace, nav aid, and obstacle data displayed on the Skyview movie map. The data is sourced from FAA and is provided to Dynon Skyview customers free of charge. The navigation data is updated on a 28-day cycle, while the obstacle data is updated every 56 days. Customers outside the U.S. can subscribe to Jeppesen or Pocket FMS to receive data for their region. More information on these options is available under the support section at DynonAvionics.com. Skyview uses the terrain databases to provide the high-resolution synthetic vision and moving map terrain displays. Three levels of terrain resolution are uploaded for reference by the system. The only level that most users need to be concerned with is the regional high-resolution database. Our standard Skyview unit ship with the North American high-resolution region installed. Skyview users outside of North America will need to upload the high-resolution data for their respective region. The other databases section currently contains a base map. The base map contains limited cultural data like political boundaries. We are currently working to expand the information provided in the base map database. Selecting back, button number one, returns the cursor to the previous menu until reaching the main setup menu. Selecting exit, button number two, from any page returns the user to the main Skyview display. Either joystick can also be used to move the cursor about and between pages. The display hardware selection is located directly below installed databases. This page contains the respective unit serial number as well as the firmware version unit is currently operating on. Typically, Dynon releases major firmware updates every four to six months. The latest firmware release can always be found on the downloads page under the support section at DynonAvionics.com. Firmware updates should always be accomplished prior to performing any other database or configuration file updates. At the bottom of the local display setup menu is the license page. Information pertaining to the map, synthetic vision, and vertical power software licensing of your system is available here. All software activation codes are entered here under Enter New License Code. As previously mentioned, selecting Exit, button 2, returns the user to the main Skyview display from any menu. Uploading databases, configuration files, and firmware updates to your Skyview system is a two-step process. Updates must first be downloaded from Dynon Avionics servers at DynonAvionics.com and saved to your home computer or laptop. This can be accomplished on either a PC or a Mac. Update files are then copied to a USB drive, commonly referred to as a USB or memory stick. The USB drive is then plugged into the Skyview system for uploading. Suitable USB drives are supplied with every Skyview display, but any drive of sufficient capacity will work. The first step in updating your Skyview with the latest databases and firmware is to download the files from DynonAvionics.com. From Dynon Avionics homepage, go to Support, then select Download Skyview from the drop-down menu. At the top of the Skyview System Downloads page is a link to show or hide full firmware installation instructions. Selecting this link will expand the page to view these instructions. Anyone unfamiliar with this procedure should take a few minutes to review these instructions. To move file updates from DynonAvionics.com to your system, first download the appropriate firmware, configuration files, or database updates to your home computer or laptop. These files should then be copied to a USB drive or memory stick. When copying the files to the memory stick, be sure to place the files in the root of the stick. 
In other words, do not place the files in a folder or directory within the USB's drive. Once the files are saved to the drive, eject the drive and remove it from your computer. The USB stick is now ready to be connected to your Skyview system for updating. One point of caution for customers using Jeppesen data. The licensing in the Jeppesen downloads requires that the file only be moved once. When downloading Jeppesen updates from their website, those files should be saved directly to the USB stick. Jeppesen files that are saved to a PC or laptop first will not transfer the license on when loaded to the Skyview and the data will be inaccessible. To upload your firmware configuration and database updates to Skyview, insert the USB stick in any of the three USB ports on your Skyview display. Two ports are located on the back side of the unit, while a third port is available in a pigtail in the standard Skyview wiring harness. Once the USB is connected to the Skyview, enter the main setup menu by holding buttons 7 and 8. The setup menu should open with system software highlighted. This signifies that the system has recognized the attached USB drive and the associated files. One important note, when loading updates to the Skyview, any required firmware upgrade should be accomplished first. After the unit is loaded and rebooted with the new software version, the remaining configuration files, engine sensor definitions, or databases can be loaded. The loading of files is a simple process. Simply highlight the appropriate file and select Load. Skyview will load the file and advise the user once the process is complete. If updating the display's firmware, the system will require a reboot once the new software is loaded. In dual or multiple screen configurations, your Skyview system will synchronize the database updates if the displays are connected via the Ethernet connections. Firmware, configuration files, and engine sensor definitions must be uploaded to each individual display separately. In the System Software menu, you will note selections to Export Settings and Export Data Log. These selections are used to save your customized configuration settings and for exporting data from the Skyview system. Selecting Back always returns the user to the previous menu. Selecting Exit returns the user to the Skyview main screen. Thank you for watching, and thank you for choosing Dynon Avionics.